Hey kids, glad you could join us today, whether that's from your bedroom, your bathroom, your kitchen or your lounge, I'm happy you can be here. Today we're going to be speaking about gentleness. Now gentleness is quite hard to explain, but if I give it you with some examples it'll be much easier to understand. One example is being polite, so saying please and thank you to those around you like your friends and your family. Another example would be not getting angry at those who are nasty to you. So instead of fighting back, like the Bible says in Matthew 5 verse 39, you turn the other cheek. Now a good symbol for gentleness would be the simple butterfly, just like this one I made. And I'll show you how to make this in a minute. The butterfly is a delicate and gentle creature. When it lands on a flower, it hardly moves it. and It definitely doesn't make a sound. So to make the craft, you need a square piece of paper, some crayons, some sandwich ties or a piece of thread or some wool and some scissors. Firstly, cut the square bit of paper in half so you're left with two equal sides. Now, to decorate this one, if you'd like to decorate, you need to make sure that your right side is matched up to your left side so it's symmetrical. What you want to do with this one is you want to fold it like so all the way down, so eventually you're left with that. And now you fold it in half, just like that, and you put it aside for later. Now you get your other bit of um, paper. So what you want to do now is fold it in half, like that. Then fold in the corners. Make sure it's much neater than mine. So then, turn it over. Now if you want to let decorate, you've got to make sure that your, or this side, is symmetrical to this side. So it's the opposite of what we were doing last time. Now, what you do is similar, but you fold like so all the way down on both sides and then you're left with this. Again you fold this in half like so and that's now ready to use. What you want to do, you, get, you want to get your other piece you're going to put put it on top like that. You want to get a sandwich tie as well so you put it on top like that and then tie it round just like magic you're left with this. And if you want to add on these little bits, you simply just tuck under a rope tie. And shout out to my mum for making this one. And as we finish, I have a prayer that you can repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry that I get angry at those who annoy me. I'm also sorry that I'm sometimes not polite to those people around me. Please help me to be gentle always. Amen.